Teenish, a podcast by teens for teens. Teenish. Stay connected with Michael and I on social media. Follow the Teenish Podcast on Instagram at Teenish Podcast. And like our Facebook page at Teenish. Michael and I can also be found on YouTube at The Teenish Podcast, where you can find interactive videos of our podcast episodes. We hope you can join our growing social media community. And now, back to Teenish. Hi, and welcome to Teenish. Merry Christmas and almost Happy New Year. This is the what the time of giving the time of what? it is the giving season oh yeah getting gifts and everything and i'm i'm excited i always say i'm excited i'm excited in the beginning of every episode but i am truly excited i'm going on vacation this month like i gotta where are you going to by the way i am going to i don't know what to say i always just tell people haiti J- jamaica Okay, the Bahamas and uh, the Caribbean. Oh, you're going on a cruise? Yeah, a cruise. I don't think we even talked about... I mean, I knew you were going out of out of town. I, I don't think we've talked about where you were going, personally. Yeah, I'm going... Um, yeah, I'm going down south. We live in Florida, so uh, we're porting out of Miami. And so that's where I'll be... Um, that's where we'll be leaving from, Miami. And that'll be a seven-day cruise. So we have to... That's why we have to keep up with these recordings. We got to record sometimes early just to make sure um, that Michael and I can enjoy our time off as well. Yeah, so we we really enjoy making podcasts. And when we get time off, we like to utilize that time. Yeah. And uh, with it being Christmas, what are what are some of your favorite things about Christmas? Uh, I have a lot of likes of Christmas, but my dislikes, like I hate the weather. I hate the Christmas weather and it's cold. That's that's why I don't like it. It's cold. Yeah, the weather weather sucks. Yeah. I, I'm I'm not a fan of the cold weather. You know, we're both Florida boys. Mm-hmm. You know, we we like it a little hotter than a little colder. Yeah, and the reason why I like this season more than other seasons is because I can pull out my my sweaters. Now I don't wear Christmas sweaters because nobody has given me one, and I'm not buying any. But I have a sweater on right now. I had one on the day before and I had one on the day before that day. So I like the Christmas season to where I can pull out my sweaters because the summer I will pull out my sweaters as well. Don't let that don't let the heat stop me from um pulling out my sweaters because I love looking nice with my long sleeve sweater uh, sweaters on my watch, my gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not big into that. You know, you always see me in shorts and yeah. I'm just naturally not that type of person. So you don't like the weather. But then you'll wear shorts and not a jacket. And for Christmas, you got me mittens and a scarf and a neck warmer, Michael. Yes, because you like wearing that type of stuff I'm not a big fan of. And I wonder why I like wearing stuff like that, because I don't like the weather. So I have to what stay warm some way, somehow. Okay, so so what we're learning is that I'm hard-headed, okay? <laughs> that that happens sometimes. Yeah, so the, the Christmas season, for me... It's always been like now now that I'm older, it's a little different Christmas. And that's one thing that Michael and I we really never thought of. It's like when we get older, it's like I mean, Christmas is very different because you have your oh, nieces and nephews. So much different. And it's and it's like you're you're on the inside now. Yeah. And you see your nieces and nephews and how like they're still making Christmas lists and like waiting for Santa to come because they we're waiting for Santa to come on the twenty fifth. 25th every yes. year. I always think it's the 23rd. I don't know why. <laughs> it's something on the 23rd. I, I don't know. I know Christmas Eve's the 24th. Okay, see, I'm still wrong. Maybe I'm thinking about Christmas Eve. You are thinking of Christmas okay. Eve. All right. And I know my mom used to let me open up a present Christmas Eve or the day before it, Christmas yeah, Eve. Christmas, no, Christmas Eve, you always open up one present before you go to sleep. Yeah, and most people will open up the biggest one or like... Now, so you have two different types of people, somebody that wants to open up the biggest one or somebody that wants to open up the smallest one, thinking that it's the best one. But then it's just like, that's the batteries that we're going to. Use. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sorry, you could have opened up the RC car, but instead yeah. you opened up the batteries uh-huh. for it. And see, like most of the stuff is not even out there yet. Yeah, no, nah, exactly. Because they pull it out while you're sleeping. Yeah. And that's when Santa comes. So. See, now my mom... The way we do Christmas on Christmas Eve, the gift that you pick out 
she has a set gift for you to open up on Christmas Eve. Oh. And it's always the pajamas that you're going to sleep in and wake up in the morning to. So, yeah. So, we already know what we're going to get. Oh, okay. I've never heard of that. Like, yeah, I, no. My mom has always been like, okay, find what you want. All right. We'll, it'll, like, we'll be, like, decision. Like, we'll be making decisions, like, approaching to you Christmas Eve. This year, we won't be in town. So, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But, um... So we'll be like, hey, you want to open up a present, Jean? And I'm like, uh, I guess I want to open up a present. And then she'll be <laughs> like, find a present that you want to open up. And so that's how we usually do it. But it's, I mean, this year we don't even have a Christmas tree up because unfortunately we won't be in town. And mm-hmm. not unfortunately, but we're we're happy that we won't be in town and that we can enjoy um, our Christmas uh, away from Jacksonville. Uh, so we saw fit to not decorate at all this year. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, we're not big on decorating. I mean, well, we do the Christmas tree, obviously. We don't even have ours up yet. I used to, when I was younger, do like the little Winter Village. You remember that? Yeah, I, I didn't know what was wrong with you or something, but I used to be so confused with the little village you would make on the table, and then Melissa would come, and then... I thought it was I thought it was so cool. I used to love doing that when I was little. But what is the point? Because I used to just sit there and watch like, okay, when is he going to get done with this little village? And then I come back. It was a village part two behind me. I'm like, okay, what is this? Oh, you didn't think that was not a little bit cool? I that See, that got me into this Christmas Did you spirit. ever see me really helping you? Uh, I think you helped once or twice. I helped a couple of times, but I was like... um First, we had to go out there to the shed and get all the stuff. Oh, and then, yeah. That was the, that's the worst part about and, Christmas. Yeah. And then every year, it's like something new. Like, oh, I, I can't find this piece. Mom, where's this piece at? Oh, I can't find it. Uh, this broke. This, that. Yeah. It, okay. So we stopped doing that hmm. because it was just so much hassle for me. Yeah. Because I'm the only one that does it. and Nobody, nobody else stuff. is. Yeah. And it's going to get moved. You know, well, OK. So when I was little and I did it, you know, someone else had to get it down for me and had to organize everything. And I would just put it where I put it. But now I'm a big boy. And but now, yeah, now, 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 I'm, <laughs> now I'm a big one. And yeah, you, know, you got to do it yourself. You do it yourself. And that's not fun. Michael was like, I don't know about that. So um. <laughs> speaking of that, I still have to get the Christmas tree down from the shed, too. Yeah, I was looking at our maybe we may we may do a Christmas tree. But when we do Christmas trees, we keep them up until like February, January. <laughs> I didn't tell anybody this, but we don't take it down. Like right before my birthday. How about that? March. Oh, wow. Not that long, but it's like my mom's birthday is the 31st of January. That's around the time we'll be taking it up around that time. I'm not going to lie. We procrastinate sometimes, too. Yeah, you got to take a, you got to take each ornament off. Now, putting it up, sometimes people are like, hey, I'm about to put it up early this year. I'm about to put it up before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's like, oh, gosh, it's 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 Halloween just ended. Let's yeah. put the Christmas tree up. Now, OK, so is it me or we really don't celebrate Thanksgiving the way that we used to or that we think we should? <sighs> well, because, because look, hold on. This is my logic. All right. Thanksgiving is three days only. The time before that. Okay, so Halloween just passed. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's say Halloween. The day after Thanksgiving, you'll start seeing turkey stuff all over the place. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Christmas. Christmas is after Halloween. Christmas is after Halloween. Um, So Halloween, then it is Christmas. All right. Thanksgiving is coming up. Okay, three days. Okay, let's switch to Chris, uh, Thanksgiving. And then let's go back to Christmas. Do you get my logic, Michael? I'm so confused in what you're saying. Okay, so I'm trying to say that November is not Thanksgiving until the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, and possibly that Saturday because the football games. And then it goes right back to Christmas. See, we have 30 days until Christmas, right? What is it? Thirty. Uh, the we countdown. Have Twenty-five days. Well, Wait, right, yeah. well, right now. What, no, 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 not right now. But just the saying. Twenty-five. Yeah, days. it's twenty-five days till Christmas. Yeah, but we started that really early. That's just my. That's just my two cent about Thanksgiving. We got to give Thanksgiving some love. Now, when Chris, when Thanksgiving does come, some people don't know how to act when it comes to the food and stuff like that. Because, without a doubt. Yeah, and last story about Thanksgiving. So my last, (laughs) I'm sorry, Michael. So my last Thanksgiving that I wasn't vegan, I was like, I didn't know I was going to, 
be vegan because I was I didn't turn vegan until the year after um, around August, the year after my um, the year before that I turned vegan. But I don't know, 2015, 16, I'm just going to say 15 going on to 16. Um, but I was like, I'm going to throw down. I'm going to get me like eight plates, collard greens, no chitlins. Um <laughs> Barbecue pig feet, macaroni and cheese. You got to get the corner side, add some gravy on top of that. Get some rice, cornbread. I was like, turkey. You got to get the dark meat. The turkey, some ham, drizzle some honey on that, some hot sauce. I was like, I'm going to throw down for Thanksgiving. And then I got one plate and I was full. Shoot, man. And then a year after, I was eating Chipotle for Thanksgiving. So. Man, you over here talking about barbecue pig feet, man. You making making me hungry, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm fine. I had an apple today. I'm energized. I'm a vegan. I'm energized. You know, I actually recently discovered not everybody likes pig feet. Pig feet is disgusting, Michael. There's nothing to chew on. Everything is fat. Nobody likes that. Dude, pig feet are awesome, man. Every part of the pig is great. Like you know, the tails, the ears, the feet, bro. What? Yeah, you've never had pig ear. Never had really pig ear. Yeah, you ever had pig tails? No, dude, pig tails and gravy. Ryan's mom makes killer pig tails. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to my dislike for um, Christmas. <laughs> 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 and at work, I work at the YMCA. I was talking with my coworkers, and we put the Christmas channel, the Christmas radio station, on. We work in kid care, so. We put the Christmas channel on, and every time a Christmas song comes on, I'm like, I hate Christmas music. Same. You you've met my sister. Yeah. Of course. Melissa. I've, Melissa. Of, of course. course. I met your sister, Michael. I. My God, it makes me so angry. Why? Because she just plays Christmas. She music? just plays Christmas music. Okay, so have you actually heard of the challenge that people are actually doing? Trying trying to go the entire Christmas season without hearing the song "Little Drummer Boy." I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it either. I've been avoiding Christmas music at all costs, and I'm totally fine with that. I've been hearing Sleigh Ride every day. (laughs) We're playing that um, for band, so that's that's one of the songs that we're doing for our uh, winter uh, concert. I've heard two Christmas songs this entire Christmas season, and I only heard it because I was walking through the room while walking walking through the living room, and and she was watching A Year Without a Santa Claus. Okay, I never heard that, but I'm is that a movie? That's a movie. I'm glad you brought that up because I hate Christmas music and movies. Okay, now we're going a little far here. I hate Christmas music. I have but never. I can't say that I hate Christmas. What is movies. it? Home Alone is that Christmas? Home movie? Alone is a Christmas movie. All three of them. All three of them. Technically, yeah. Okay, I've seen like scenes from it. I've never sat down and was like, oh, let me go watch Home Alone. What you don't know about little Kev, and little Kev McAllister, and is Will? You know, I don't know actors. Will uh, Macaulay Culkin? Not in Will, that movie, but in, he's in a Christmas movie. Um, he's famous, like Will, Will Smith? Ferrell. Will Fer- Oh, Elf. You're talking about Elf. Elf. Yeah. So we were talking about that at work with my boss, and she was like, um, "Yeah, the movie with Will Ferrell and all that." And I was like, "I'm sorry, I don't like Christmas movies. I don't know what you're talking about." Now I do like Tyler Perry Christmas stuff. Okay, so like the Medea Christmases and stuff like that. Now that is one of the funniest movies, and I like that. I like that. And one thing that they talked about in that movie is like, okay, all Christmas movies have the same plot. Uh, Essentially. Yeah. They all have the same plot. And I mean, most of that is to remind us of what the season is really for and, and why the season will be beneficial. Like what can we do to step outside of our shoes? Not literally, but to, to step away from our life and just say, how can I benefit somebody else's life by from what I'm doing? And so, I mean, this is the time of giving. And as teens, we know that all gifts don't have to be monetary. Of course, they don't have to be monetary. But just giving the time out of your day to help somebody else's life, to help somebody else's day, that is like tremendous. Like it shows that you're selfless and and we have to act upon that selfless 
um, like that selfless thing inside of us, not only during the Christmas season, but during the Christmas season, we are reminded of that. And that is through the music and through the movies and through entertainment. And I'm glad that that has continued along. Yeah. And there's so many ways you could give too. you could give to your family, to your friends, to your community. You could, you could find a random stranger and just give them mm-hmm. something like a coffee or, you know, drink some sorts. Yeah. And, uh, that's what we see a lot here. I don't know anywhere else, but a lot in Florida, Jacksonville in specific, during the cold seasons, that's when you see a lot of homeless people. A lot of people is like, I, I need help. Like it, it is extremely cold out here. Like when it's hot, it's a different situation. Like it's kind of hard to get warm if you have nothing to get warm with. And so that it just reminds me like as I'm driving, like, wow, I am truly blessed. Like, I have the means to help somebody else's life. I have the means to just not even, like I said, not even monetary, but wow, I can just give this person a blanket or this jacket that I have that I've had forever and that I really don't need more than this other person. And just going out of your way, stepping out of your shoes and helping somebody else, that shows a lot about your character. You know, another thing you could do is toy drives too. Toy drives? What toy, toy drives. Oh, toy uh, drives. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And I know my school, we always like to do drives and things like that just to encourage everybody um, to give and toy drives. And then also uh, we do like white Christmases. I know that's not like, you know, I'm like sorry. Like white elephants? That's what I meant. I already, I caught myself saying uh-huh. white Christmas. Uh, it is a white Christmas, not in Florida though. <laughs> yeah, not here. It's a green yeah. Christmas. Oh yeah. Or a brown Christmas. A greenish Gra- brown. Yeah, the, the grass yeah, kind of dies um, after a while. Um but yeah, it's a time of giving. But so ways that you can give that are not monetary. I say my my number one thing is to say, follow your suit. Follow your passion. Follow your gift. So I'm a trumpeter. That's the correct name. Trumpeter. Trumpeter. Yes. And that I'm talking about the instrument trumpet. Trumpet. I'm well aware that you're okay. a trumpeter. Okay. I'm a trumpeter or a trumpetist. I saw a trumpeter somewhere, so I'm saying trumpeter. Um, so I, I like to play music. I'm I'm a I, I'm a musician, and so a way I can give back is help a charity. They if they're doing like a drive and like you know even ringing the bell, but just getting people's attention to give back. That that shows a lot about your character. Let's say you're a runner, participate in some five Ks that are happening, ten Ks, marathons that are happening during the Christmas season. Uh, I know the YMCA we had one yesterday. Uh, the ugly sweater run and b- most runs are donating to charities like the portion of your um, ticket entry price that's going to a charity to help other people and um, that just shows a lot about your character like I've said um, previously before yeah giving's giving's a really good thing about this season mm-hmm. you know another thing that I actually really really enjoy about this season break Oh, yeah. We we have a long break now. We have, what, two weeks and a half? We have 19 days, if, I, if I'm correct. I, I want to say it's 20-something days. Really? I had to recount and recount and recount, but I'm just going to round. I'd rather round down and round up, so I'm yeah, going to round exactly. down. Yeah, exactly, because if it ends up being more, you get the benefit of mm-hmm. the doubt. Yeah, we, I mean, if it's Thursday, we know we're not going to school on Friday, so. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. But when I brought up the white elephants, not the white Christmas, don't sign up for too many of them. That's all I got to say. Cause I, so I'm doing one for my Spanish class. At first, uh, my Spanish teacher said, "Okay, do you, we're gonna do what? Um, what? Are, teddy bears. So ten five dollar cap." And inside of me, I was like, "You can't buy a teddy bear for that one cheap." And then other people found them, and I was like, "Okay." And then now. Some people said, well, I don't want a teddy bear. And then she was like, well, stand up if you don't want a teddy bear. And I was like, well, I don't want one either then if nobody <laughs> else would want a teddy bear. And so some people stood up, some people didn't. But only thing, just don't sign up for too many white elephants, gifts exchange. Like, of course, if you're going to give gifts to your friends, yeah. But if you're entering into all these random, like even for work. Oh, I got to just remind myself. Even for work, I have to... Um, we're doing a, a a YMCA wide, so the Winston wide um, Christmas thing exchange. Mm-hmm. 
So we got to draw the name. I guess that's White Elephant. Does Mama have to do that too? It's not mandatory. Okay, so. it's not mandatory. Yeah, but I signed up for a lot of them. Mm. Even with between five people, like little sections, like little groups, I've signed up between. Yeah, no, I don't do that. Um, I haven't even gotten anything yet. So. Going back to the school situation, though. Christmas season, Christmas break, you know, that means going back to school start of the second semester. Yeah, this is like we're halfway there. We're halfway there. So if you're in school right now, so like Michael and I, 12th grade are below, or even in college, I mean, they're first semester already done. This is like the, the, the long drive. So if you listen to our college episode, you know that Michael and I talked about like around this season is when you want to start looking at scholarships. If you're wanting to go to college, you're starting to get Applying, your... Applying, mm-hmm. you're starting to do all that, all that, all that good jazz. Yeah, you're getting your P's and Q's um, curled up and slotted down uh, for what's coming next after graduation. So talking to seniors in specific, we're, we're, I have my date. March, uh, May 27th, one o'clock. May 27th, right? Or maybe it's May 23rd. That's what the 23rd is going for. So, but you have that date, you just don't know what it is. No, I think it's the 27th. I'm going to say the 27th. Uh, I know it's at one o'clock at UNF. Um, but this is the time that we're, we're starting to apply for scholarships, finalizing what school you're going to. So accepting schools that accepted you and denying schools that accepted you as well. Um, see me, I'm still waiting for FSU and UCF, but I already got, uh, accepted to, uh, Valdosta State University and Valdosta, Georgia, and then University of North Florida here in Jacksonville. And so out of those two, I already know which one of those I want to go to, but I'm waiting on the other schools. And so that's, that's what I'm waiting on. And so I'm not going to let that stop me from applying for scholarships to get, to go to school for free. That's my ultimate goal is to go to school free graduate debt free in 2024 that's the plan yeah and even if you're trying to do military it's about that time to start taking the ASVAB um if if you know you want to go right into enlisted or if you want to uh do education first and then go in as an officer this is your time to start determining like okay so we're on the new year let's let's start this let's get this going and um one thing also resolutions Oh, like New Year resolutions. This is the time to start thinking about that. <clears throat> Little hint, hint. Yeah. Start thinking about your New Year's resolutions. And be, and I'm saying that because next year, next year, Michael and I, we have a special announcement next year. Little secret surprise. Yeah. And so if you listen to the episode that came out, uh, it was like two minutes and it was just me talking about what we're doing um, and we're starting to have guests. And so you listened to our last guest uh, last week, Elena. um, And now this week, Christmas will be next week when you're listening to this. And the, the Thanksgiving break not only gave us the time to reflect about adding guests on to give you different perspectives. It gave us an idea, an idea to give you all the perspective, the perspective of us in our studio. And so, January 1st, we're here. All right, well, third, really. We're going to have that. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's that Friday. Um, but you're, you're going to see us. You're going to see Michael and I. We're going to start doing video podcasting. And so, at least once a month, Michael and I are going to make it our goal to post video podcasts. And so, not only will you all be able to learn about us and get to know us on a more personal level, you'll get to see us. You'll... If you're not driving or if you're not folding your clothes, you'll get to see us sit down and watch us record because right now we're just in our studio just looking at each yeah, other. We're just, like just, I'm just staring I'm, into your I'm eyes. Staring at, I'm staring at you yeah. too, bro. But now we're going to be looking at a camera. Yeah, it's going to be a nice uh, nice change up. It's going to it's gonna work though. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm super excited to see uh, where that's going to take us. And I mean, of course, we're talking about New Year's and New Year's resolutions. So you better pick your New Year's resolution. So on that Friday, that first Friday of the year, 2020, you can follow the steps that Michael and I are going to give you to make sure that your uh, resolution is followed through into 2021. 
All righty. We thank you for listening. Merry Christmas and almost Happy New Year. It's, it's on the way. It's right around the corner. And I am so happy. I am so happy. Bye. Welcome to Teenish, a podcast by teens for teens. Teenish. Teenish.